I'm Jenny Grimm. Welcome back to the Momtastics for the third installment of our three-part series on postpartum depression. I'm Colleen Shields. On the first two sections of our three-part series, we discussed how common postpartum depression is, why people have it, and what's the difference between postpartum depression and baby blues. But today we want to know, Dr. Hibbler, how do you treat postpartum depression? Embrace it. Recognize that it's there. Um, for the family, to be there for the person, to, to, to help her out, to give her the break. But also all of the other treatments that we have for depression all work, all of them, whether it's therapy, whether it's um, uh, groups, whether it's uh, working with medication, all of those also will work. Dr. Hibbler, how long does it take on average to treat postpartum depression? It depends on the severity. Usually it's several months, but it can take a longer period than that. Are there any alternatives to traditional medicines when treating postpartum? Getting back to a routine is a great idea. Getting, being able to get back to the things that you value, the things that are important, the things that normally charge your battery and keep you running, that, that's really helpful to do that. The problem with the postpartum depression is it's really hard to get back to doing that. But the sooner you can do that, and anything anybody can do to help them is really helpful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This has been incredibly enlightening. Thanks so much for joining us on The Momtastics. For these tips and more information, please visit our website, themomtastics.com.